And in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And Joseph knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne. I will declare the decree, The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious. And I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And his name shall be called the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, and his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. But thou, Bethlehem Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. For there is one God, and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord. They shall look upon me whom they have pierced. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. 